everyone welcome to this video this is lecture number 80 we already cover up 79 lecture for um, solu solution of the supplementary problem of the book vector analysis by Emerson Spiegel you know this book is very important for id jam examination and also physics and for the mathematics also that's why we decide to solve the supplementary problem of this book and in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem of 7.59 to 7.60 of chapter 7 which consists the carbonyl coordinate system so look at the problem 7.59 7.59 says that find the moment of inertia of the region bounded by this x square minus y square equals to 2 and x square minus y square equal to 4 to uh, that region so we need to find out the moment of inertia think about the formula of the moment of inertia you know the moment of inertia i is nothing but integration dm into r square <laughs> okay so if you if we put the r square within this equation uh, that is the position vector of this uh, and with respect to z axis that means it is symmetrically like uh, a cylindrical like like a cylindrical and with respect to z axis so you can say this r square is nothing but the r square is nothing but x square plus y square right and dm is you can write as mass is nothing but the density into the volume dm dv into x square plus y square and here the density is given as the kappa so you write down this kappa and dv if you <coughs> change into a generalized or carbonyl coordinate system you know that this uh, dv can be written as dv can be written as h1 du1 h2 du2 h3 du3 right so if we change this into the this coordinate if you use these hints that the change into this coordinate that is x square minus y square equal to twice if and x y equals to v just rearranging them you can get the expression of x expression of y and z is nothing but z right there is no change so from that you can write r vector that is position vector i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z and after that you got dr vector and that is d square that is dr vector dot dr vector from where you can get h1 square du1 square h2 square du2 square h3 square du3 square you know if you was the previous lecture you know this is the square of the <coughs> elementary portion of this coordinate system this is a new coordinate system from here you get the h1 h2 h3 and put this value h1 h2 h3 and x square plus y square can be written as uh, if you change into x to y so this can be x square plus y square is written as x square plus y square is nothing but root under x square minus y square whole square plus 4xy so this is nothing but 2 root under u square plus v square so you get 2 root under u square plus v square and put this h1 h2 h3 value and du d h dv and dz uh, you need to find out these values uh, and put this and just calculate you get the answer this if there is any problem you must comment in the comment box or you can whatsapp me right uh, i don't want to calculate this this is a very long process you just uh, solve this to find h1 h2 h3 look at the next question 7.60 which says the find del r vector by del u del r vector by del u3 and this uh, for this coordinate system so at first look at this cylindrical coordinate system cylindrical cylindrical coordinate cylindrical coordinate means 
रो फाइ एंड जेट रईट रो फाइ जेट यू रिमेम्बर दैट इन दि कोअर्डिनेट सिसटेम एक्स वाई एंड जेट दिस इज दि रो एंड दि एंगल फॉर्म उथ दि एक्स एक्स इज फाइ एंड दिस डिस्टेंस इज जेट सो आर भेक्टर इज नाथिंग बाट आई कैप एक्स जे कैप वाई एंड के कैप जेट and if you put the value x that is rho cos phi and rho sin phi and z is z so find del r vector by del u1 u1 means rho so if you derivative with respect to rho you will get i cap cos phi plus j cap sin phi del r vector by del u2 u2 means phi you will get i cap rho sin phi j cap rho cos phi and del r vector by del z you will get k cap so you get three this and now if you wants to find out grad of u1 u1 means rho so this is i cap del rho del x j cap del rho del z sorry del y k cap del rho del z if you change into rho to x y so you will get rho equals to root under x square plus y square if you watch the previous one you know this and phi is nothing but tan inverse y by x and z is z so if you derivative with respect to x you will get uh, x by root under x square plus y square and this y will be j cap y by root under x square plus y square and k cap part is zero so this can be written as root under x square plus y square i cap x plus j cap y if you wants to change into rho phi put the value of x and y so x is rho cos phi and y is rho sin phi and x square plus y square equals to rho so this is i cap cos phi plus j cap sin phi i think clear next one is grad u2 u2 means phi grad phi grad phi that is i cap del phi del x plus j cap del phi del y plus k cap del phi del z you remember phi is nothing but tan inverse y by x so del phi del x means 1 by 1 plus y square by x square and derivative of y by x is derivative of y by x is y by x square similarly j cap del phi del y that is 1 by 1 plus y square by x square and with respect to y that is 1 by x and there is no k cap so you get 1 plus y square by x square minus y by x square i cap and 1 by x j cap that's it if you want to multiply with respect to x square so this is minus y i cap plus x j cap and divided by x square plus y square if you put in terms of rho phi so this is rho sin phi i cap and this is rho cos phi j cap and this is rho square x square plus y square equal to rho square so this is nothing but 1 by rho minus i cap sin phi and j cap cos phi okay this is the grad phi another one grad z so this is nothing but i cap del z del x j cap del z del y 
k cap del z del z so this is zero this is zero this is one so only k cap i think clear so he got this value of the three value for cylindrical coordinate system next is spherical coordinate system next is spherical coordinate system spherical coordinate system coordinate system for spherical coordinate system you know the variable is r theta phi and what is r r is the distance theta is this angle and phi is the if we take projection in x axis this angle is phi right if you join the attend the previous lecture then you will know very well about this coordinate system okay so and this system we need to find out we need to find out the similar on a r vector as the same process so r vector is nothing but i cap x j cap y k cap z x is r sin theta cos phi j cap r sin theta sin phi and k cap r cos theta clear mm -hmm. so we need to find out del r by del u means r so del r vector by del r so if you do with respect to r we get i cap sin theta cos phi j cap sin theta sin phi and k cap cos theta del r vector by <coughs> uh, theta so this will give i cap r cos theta cos phi mm, j cap r cos theta sin phi and this is minus k cap r sin theta and del r vector by del phi so this is minus i cap r sin theta sin phi plus j cap r sin theta cos phi and this is zero so these are the del r vector by del r i think clear okay now you need to find out grad gradient so uh, gradient of r so this is nothing but i cap del r vector del x j cap del r vector del y k cap del r vector del z if you know that r is nothing but root under x square plus y square plus z square right so if you derivative with respect to x so you get x by root under x square plus y square plus z square similarly j cap y by root under x square plus y square plus z square and k cap z by root under x square plus y square plus z square so this gives you i cap x j cap y k cap z by root under x square plus y square plus z square so if you want to write about x y z so this is i cap r sin theta cos phi j cap r sin theta sin phi and k cap r cos theta and this is nothing but r so divided by r the r will be cancel out you will get i cap sin theta cos phi j cap sin theta sin phi and k cap cos theta this is the value of greater <laughs> similarly you can find grad theta grad of theta this is i cap del theta del x plus j cap del theta del y 
giga del theta del z you know theta is nothing but in the coordinate system sorry at uh, you will get uh, what will be the value of theta that is if you square this to that is x square plus y square gives you r square sin square theta x square plus y square gives you r square sin square theta and z square gives you r square cos square theta so tan square theta is nothing but <coughs> this be this x square plus y square by z square so tan theta will gives you root under x square plus y square by z root by z right so theta is equals to tan inverse x square plus y square by z so if you derivative with respect to x del theta by del x so what will you do tan inverse mean 1 by 1 plus this square means x square plus y square by z square into of with respect to x so 1 by z with respect to z that is 1 by 2 root under x square plus y square into 2x so if you multiply that then you get 2 to cancel out and z square so 1z is remaining here so in the denominator x square plus y square plus z square and upper is x and there is root under x square plus y square and z okay this is the exit of this this is the del theta del x similarly if you find del theta del y uh, del theta del y this is just similar to this so this will be yz by x square plus y square plus z square and root under x square plus y square okay and del theta del z if you with respect to z so this will gives you 1 by 1 plus x square plus y square by z square and del z means root under x square plus y square here and this is minus 1 by z square right so this is the okay so if you multiply the first side oh, mm -hmm. so this is x square plus y square plus z square if we multiply this one x square plus y square so this gives you minus x square plus y square so just put in this value you will get the answer and after that if you wants to change into r theta phi you will get this r cos theta cos phi just put the value like previous one you will get the answer j cap minus sin theta k cap clear so next is grad theta so next is grad phi so this is i cap del phi del x j cap del phi del y k cap del phi del z you know phi is nothing but tan inverse y by x just no 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 uh, sorry y by x gives you y by x y by x gives you uh, y by x 10 10 10 phi right 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 so 10 uh, phi is phi is 10 inverse y by x simple so del phi del x this is nothing but 1 by 1 plus square by x square and x that is minus y by x square that is minus y by x square plus y square and del phi del y 1 by 1 plus y square by x square that is 1 by x so if you multiply x so this is x x square plus y square and del phi del z is 0 so this becomes you minus i cap y 
प्लस जे कैप एक्स बाई रूट अंडार एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर पुट दि भैल्यू इन आर थीटा टर्म सो दिस विल बी माइनस साइन फाइव आई कैप प्लस कस फाइव जे कैप एंड दिस इज आर साइन थीटा पुट दि भैल्यू इन टर्म्स ऑफ आर थीटा फाइव यू गेट दिस आंसर आई थिंक क्लियर नेक्स्ट वन इज दि नेक्स्ट वन वॉज दि सरि नेक्स्ट वन वॉज दि पैराबोलिक सिलिंड्रिकल कोअर्डिनेट यू नो दिस पैराबोलिक सिलिंड्रिकल कोअर्डिनेट सिस्टेम पैराबोलिक सिलिंड्रिकल कोअर्डिनेट सिस्टेम पैराबोलिक पैराबोलिक सिलिंड्रिकल कोअर्डिनेट सिस्टेम यू नो इन पैराबोलिक सिलिंड्रिकल कोअर्डिनेट सिस्टेम एक्स इज हाफ u square minus v square y equals to u v and z equals to z so r vector equals to i cap x x means half u square minus v square j cap y that is u v and k cap z so del r vector by del u you will get uh, u i cap and this is v j cap del r vector by del v This is nothing but minus v i cap plus u j cap. Del r vector by del z. This is nothing but k cap. Now, grad of u, that is i cap del u by del x j cap del u by del y and k cap del u by del z. so you need to change into u in terms of xy how so u square minus v square equals to 2x and u v equals to y so u square plus v square equals to root under u square minus v square whole square plus 4 u square v square so this is Uh, 2x whole square that is 4x square and it is 4y square. So this is 2 root under x square plus y square. So if you add these two, 2u square will gives you 2u square will gives you 2x plus 2 root under x square plus y square. So u square equals to x plus root under x square plus y square. This is value of u square. So u equal to root under x plus root under x square plus y square so this is the value of u similarly we got the value of y and just substitute this value you will be get the answer for this this will gives you u i cap plus v j cap by u square plus v square similarly grad of v gives you Minus v i cap plus u j cap by root under u square plus v square and grad of z this gives you k cap clear this is a long process just follow this process or you can remember from here that is you no know, the formula you can say the formula is. <coughs> sorry no formula actually okay and that's it okay we will be do the next one all about me this is my contact details you can contact with me regarding any physics related question and this is my youtube channel let's go to this channel you get the all the video which already uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video so take care we'll meet in the next video so thank you